All right, this is a great song by the Memphis Jug Band, Stealin'. So, um, key of C, and I picked this song for two reasons. It's It's got your basic chords in C, but it's also got some really quick chord changes in C that are good practice, and then it's also got some secondary chords. Um, a and D are in here, A7 and D7. The um, verse is just kind of a bluesy thing, C. C7, F. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky. You gotta do one beat of each of these chords. C, G, C, F, C, G, C. And you get two beats on that C. C, G, C, F, C, G, C. So that's good practice. And the chorus is C, Seven F. Okay, now here comes the secondary chords. C for two beats. A seven. D seven. G seven. C. Okay, that's a very common ragtime style turnaround in the key of C. So we've got what we called a, a six chord and a two chord going to a five chord. This is a chain of fifths. So there's a video about this, talking about the circle of fifths and chains of fifths. It's a chain of seventh chords that are all a fifth apart, and so it creates a really strong chord progression. So again, that last part is you're doing two beats of each, bass notes from C, A7, D7, G7, and then you're back home to C. And I'm just doing a on the 6th string, 3rd fret, open the A string, 2nd fret of the 5th string, walking into that C. One other thing is, on the F, I'm just keeping it real simple. I'm just doing an F, and I'm moving my 3rd finger back and forth from the 4th string to the 5th string, doing an alternating bass. Uh, I'm tempted to throw in a minor chord there. I kept it out of the arrangement. It's it's not the easiest chord to play, the barred minor there. And I'm not sure if I hear it in the original recording of this. I think people have certainly added it to further, you know, other versions of this song. If you want to throw it in, it certainly sounds nice on the chorus uh, in particular. If you go... So one measure of F, go to F minor. I'm stealing back to my same old used to be. Now, if you really want to do some homework, my advice would be to take this turnaround. C, A7, D7, G7, C. And do some musical algebra. Uh, in other words, get a piece of paper, write down C, a7, D7, G7, C, and then under that or onto over that, write a Roman numeral one for the C, a Roman numeral six with a seven after it. So a Roman numeral six and then a numeral, a Arabic numeral seven, and then a Roman numeral two with a, a normal numeral seven. And then a five, Roman numeral five, with a little seven next to it. And then back to Roman numeral one. Because that is the way we would talk about the chords. It's a one, six, seven, two, seven, five, seven, one, turn around. Because if you did that, then what you could do is take your PDFs of the primary chords and the secondary chords and see if you can work out that turnaround in other keys. I'll give you one, uh, I'll do the key of G. In the key of G, that turnaround would be G, E7, A7, D7, G. You can hear that it has the same feel, the same sound, even though it's a different key. Okay? And this is a really good uh, skill to develop, being able to use the Roman numerals to help you transpose would be the word for it, changing the song from one key to another. 
You could try changing this entire song into a different key. That would be a really great exercise. Works great in the key of G. And in fact, I think the original version by the Memphis Chug Band is in G. So, um, stealing, stealing, pray to mama, don't you tell on me. I'm stealing back to my same old used to be. So, that's all there is to it. Taking the uh, relationships between the chords and changing them to a different key. Um, I would really recommend it if you really want to get deep into this. I would uh, see if you can transpose some of these songs. And if you're a singer, you know, and you're finding that my versions of these songs are maybe not suiting your voice, the two tools you want to master would be using the capo. If, if my singing's too low for you, try capoing the song up and see if you can find a better key for your voice. And the other tool is transposing. So that would mean taking the sheet music for whatever song it is. I recommend turning all the chords into Roman numerals and then using what you know about the primary chords and the secondary chords, see if you can change it into a different key. Uh, it's kind of fun actually and it's a really good exercise.